macros, macros, macros. What in the world is everybody talking about macros? What are they? Why do we need to pay attention to them? Does it even matter what a macro is or how many we take? Today, we're going to talk all about macros, helping you learn what they are, how you can track them, and what benefits the macros have for your meal plan and diet. So stick with us till the end and you'll learn all about what macros are. What's going on everybody? It is Ryan from No Limits Fitness Coaching. I hope everybody out there is doing excellent. Today we are talking all about macros. What macros are and how they can benefit us and does it even matter if we pay attention to what our macros are. So to get us started off, what a macro is, is it simply is a type of nutrient in a food. So your nutrients that come in food are broken down into different categories. You've got things like vitamins and minerals, which are more of your micronutrients. And then you've got your macronutrients, which are things such as protein, carbohydrates, fats, and there's also dietary fiber. So we're gonna talk a little bit about each of these three and how you can incorporate tracking them um, into your meal plan, how it can benefit you, and just some real basic guidelines. Each macronutrient, when it's digested, it gives your body a certain amount of energy. Now that energy is measured in things that we call calories, very basic unit of measure. And truly what a calorie is, is just how much energy it can provide for your body. When we think about protein, protein has four calories per gram of protein that's associated to it. Which means, very simply, if you take in one gram of protein, it provides your body with four calories of energy to be able to use utilize, do whatever the body needs to do. So it provides that four calorie. Carbohydrates also provide four calories per gram of carbohydrate. Fats very commonly are associated with body fat as well, but that's more because a fat gram, one gram of fat contains nine calories of energy. So it does provide more energy for us. It also provides more potential because of the calories to put on body fat. So that's the only reason that fat gets this kind of bad reputation. The ability because it carries more than double the amount of calories than the other macronutrients, you do need to be careful of how much fats you're taking in, mainly because of that caloric intake. So we're gonna talk about protein. Like I said, protein has four calories per gram of, of protein. Now the calories, again, is just a unit of, of measure. It's just a way for us to explain how much energy that one gram of protein can actually provide to our body, that, that energy output. Proteins, though, are also associated with everything else in the body, your muscle tissues, your hair, your nails. Everything in your body is made up of proteins and proteins themselves are made up of chains of amino acids. So these amino acids are then broken down into your digestive system and they're used for various, various functions throughout the body, which are then, then again gives you that, that value, that energy that can be provided. So proteins are so important because they're really the last thing that can be used to store body fat. But they're one of the first things that can be used to build muscle, to provide the, um, the building blocks to put on new muscle, to, to fix damaged cells, to fix damaged muscles. Proteins we need to have in our diet at a fairly high level. So making sure that the proteins are tracked and are made consistent on a daily basis and we guarantee that we're getting enough proteins is critical no matter what kind of meal plan you're taking in. Whether it's keto, paleo, 
Um, whether you're a vegan or vegetarian, no matter what you do, proteins have to be the main priority when you're constructing that meal plan or constructing your meals throughout the day. So the next macronutrient that we're going to talk about is carbohydrates. Now carbohydrates can be tricky because carbohydrates, there are your normal carbohydrates that break down and like we talked about already, they provide four calories per gram of carbohydrate. So four units of energy that can be used by your body. But carbohydrates also have a kind of subcategory or they have um, a different different type of, of carbohydrate that's usually measured and that's of dietary fiber. So food labels will lump in dietary fiber into the carbohydrates, but it is very important to understand that your body does not digest dietary fiber. Therefore, dietary fiber does not provide any energy. It's used for a lot of other things such as digestion and, and numerous other things that we could go into later but dietary fiber when it is on that label doesn't provide energy for your body therefore it kind of, it means that when we're looking for different food sources if we can up that fiber intake if we can look at our carb carbohydrates and make sure that they're coming from a high fiber source it's going to limit that amount of calories that are being brought into our body. We don't want to limit our energy too much. We need to be able to survive, but it really lowers that caloric intake if we make sure that our carb carbohydrate source is from something with a high fiber content. So looking at carbohydrates, knowing that it has that four calorie per gram, but that we can limit that by sticking with high fiber sources can really help us to maintain a, a vital look at carbohydrates. They're often demonized by the uh, media or different fitness personalities, but carbohydrates are a great source of energy. It's the first source that your body goes to when it's looking to try to perform in a feat. Whether you're lifting weights, going for a run, a hike, just trying to keep up with your kids during the day, your body looks for carbohydrates first and foremost to be able to fuel yourself for that. So don't be afraid of carbs. Just know that they're another source of energy that we have to track, that we can be creative with. And if you're sticking with high fiber sources, you know that you're going to get high quality carbohydrates. So the next macronutrient that we're going to talk about is fat. Now fat, again, we've kind of talked about, touched on it a little bit. Fat gets a lot of criticism throughout media, fitness, whatever, because it ha carries that nine calorie per gram, you know, weight difference. So compared to four calories for carbohydrates and um, proteins, fats carry more than double that. Because of that, we need to be keenly aware that fats can increase that calories very quickly in our diet. If we decide to put in a lot of butter or a lot of high fat containing foods, it's very easy for our calories to get away from us during the day. That doesn't mean we should stay away from fats. In fact, a fat in our diet is very healthy for us. When we think of things like nuts or avocado or different um, fat containing foods, they can be very healthy. And our body utilizes fats various ways. We have to know that fats are important for us. If we stay away from fats completely, we can get very sick. It can be a detriment to our health. So knowing that fats can raise the caloric intake if we're not careful, but also that we need to have some level of fats in our diet can help us to understand we don't need to limit completely, but just pay attention to our fat intake. All right, so we've discussed the three major macronutrients. We've got protein, carbohydrates, and fats. We know that the 
calories that are associated with each, four calories for both protein and carbohydrates, and nine calories for that of fats. Hopefully it's very clear to you guys that every macronutrient has its place in our diet. We would never want to limit or completely um, eliminate any of the macronutrients in our meal plan and expect to stay healthy and expect to really stay on our fitness goals. No, really a balanced nutrition program is what's going to help keep you on track, help keep you sane because you're not limiting or taking away foods, and also keep you healthy and losing fat, gaining muscle. So making sure that we track these nutrients and understand that that balance is where it's key, where we're going to be successful, can really help all of us to get in the best shape of our life. I hope you guys enjoy this very basic uh, tutorial on what macronutrients are. If you guys liked this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, I'd love to show more videos to you guys. Also drop a comment down below, let me know what struggle it is that you have with your fitness goals. You have struggle with you, your nutrition, your workouts, just finding time during the day, let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions that you'd like to hear me answer, I'd love to uh, see those questions as well. So hopefully you guys are doing great and I will see you next time.